Hey kiddos, it's me again, Mr. V, the good teacher, or at least I'm trying to be. But anyways, now we're going to be multiplying decimals. In the last two videos, I showed you how to add and subtract. Now we're just multiplying decimals. And I'll start off simple, like we always do. Let's do 1.23 times, uh, let's go 4.55. You guys need to practice your multiplication tables, okay? If not, this is gonna be really difficult for you. So we'll start normal. Remember the rules. Each of the bottom numbers has to be multiplied to each of the top numbers. We'll go in order. Five times three is 15. Five times two is 10 plus the one is 11. Five times one is five plus the one is six. Do not touch the decimals yet. There's a rule for this. Don't touch these yet, okay? Leave them alone. We're already done with this five. And if you guys remember my rule, we'll put a zero right over here. So we know that this number here is done. We don't touch this anymore. Now, let's do five times three, which is 15. You carry the one. Five times two is 10, plus the one is 11. Carry the one again. Five times one is five, plus the one is six. We're done with these two fives. So we'll put a zero here and a zero here. So now we'll work on the four. Four times three is 12. Carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus the one is nine. And then four times one is four. When we get to this part here, we're adding. Five plus nothing is five. One plus five is six. Six plus one plus two is nine. Six plus nine is 15, we carry the one. And then one plus four is five, okay? Now we have to find out where the decimal point goes. The decimal point when it comes to addition does move. So here's a really good trick to do. There are two decimal places here. After, there's two decimal places after decimal point here and two decimal places after decimal point here. So that means there's four in total. So starting from the end of our answer, we're gonna count to four towards the left. So one, two, three, four. This is where our decimal point goes. And just to make sure I didn't do anything incorrect, I always want to confirm my answer because right now I'm not really sure, so let's do it. So 1.23 times 4.55 is 5.5965. Let's see if that's true. 1.23 times 4.55. 5.5965? Five point five nine six five, and look where the decimal point is, right after the first five. So I confirm my answer, which means my strategy does work, but it may not always work. There could be other equations out there, but for now, I think this will help you. So let's erase this, and I'll do one more equation. Let's do uh, thirteen point one times two point. 46. Oh no, there's an empty spot here. Don't panic. Just put a zero. You're fine. Nothing to worry about. So just like before, each bottom number multiply to each top number. We'll start from the right. Six times zero, zero. Six times one, six. Six times three is 18. And then six times one plus one is seven. Don't worry about the decimals, okay? We're multiplying, so don't touch the decimal points yet. Now, we're done with this six, we'll add a zero here. And we'll move on to four. Four times zero is zero. Four times one is four. Four times three is 12. And then four times one is four, plus the one is five. We're done with the four and we're done with the six, so let's add our two zeros here. Now we have two times zero, which is zero. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. And then two times one is two. And now we add. This will all be zeros. Six plus zero is zero. Eight plus four is 12. We carry the one. Seven plus two plus two plus one is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we carry the one. 
5 plus 6 is 11, plus the 1 is 12 again. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, we don't know how many decimals there are. But we can always try this trick. There are two decimal places here and two decimal places here. That means there's four in total. So starting from the end of the answer, we're going to count four times to the left. So one, two, three, four. So my answer is 32.2260. Let's always confirm our answer. Our question was 13.10 times 2.46. So 13.10 times 2.46. The answer is 32.226. Over here, it's 32.2260. You don't need to have a zero at the end of this number because it's a decimal. So I could easily erase this and it'll still give me the same answer. 32.226, 32.226. I hope that helps you guys. Now the next video will be dividing decimals. I'll see you there. Bye.